Good morning, everyone. Welcome to story time today. My name is Miss Meredith and I'm the children's librarian at the Patterson Park Ranch and here with us today. Oh, do you know what kind of animal this might be? Technically, you're a wolf, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a wolf. Oh, yeah. We're not reading a book about a wolf today. We're reading a book about a fox. But I didn't have a fox that lived here. So I was like, I'll bring the wolf with us instead. And you know what is kind of funny? Because even though he is a wolf, his name is actually Foxy. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Foxy the wolf. It confuses people. It's true because in some places there are foxes that are this color. They're gray. Not the foxes that live here in Maryland. They're more, they're more, let's see. They're more this orangey color. I have a fox on my shirt, you can see. All right, so Foxy the Wolf is here today to hang out with us while we read a cool book that has some foxes in it. But before we do that, I wanted to tell you a couple things. One, well, let's tell you one thing right now. The most important thing is Summer Break Baltimore started on June 1st. So anybody can sign up at any library in the city or on our website. And if you sign up in this month of June and come to the library, you can get a free shirt and a free book. And then if you do some reading this summer, you could win more cool prizes and you can get a free book every month. It's very, very awesome. We hope that you will all sign up. I've already had such a good time with it. And Foxy has too. All right. And next, we're going to start with our hello song. So we always sing for our hello song. We sing the song, if you're happy, you know, because story time makes us so happy. Can you clap your hands, hello? Very good job. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Can you stomp your feet? If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Can you say hooray? If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! Good job. Do you think you can do all three? Can you clap, clap, stomp, stomp? Hooray! Let's give it a shot. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Stop, stop. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Stop, stop. stop. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Stop, stop. stop. Hooray! Great job, everybody. That was excellent. All right. Let's read our book. Our book today is called The Fox Wish. It's by Kamiko Aman and illustrated by Kamako Sakai. I hope I'm saying that right. Oh my goodness. And we're reading it with permission from Chronicle Books. You see, we have some foxes in our book here. Have you ever seen a fox? Sometimes you can see foxes in Baltimore if you're near a park and if it's early in the morning. That's where I've seen foxes in Baltimore is early in the morning or late at night when the sun's about to go down. And they are, the ones that live here are usually this nice reddish brown color. They have very bushy tails. Some foxes that live other places are different colors. Like if they live way up north, they might be white. Some places there are gray foxes, but these are the ones that you should be on the lookout for if you're ever near some open wilderness or some open space early in the morning. All right, here we go. Let's read the fox wish. Have you ever wished for something? Hmm. That's what's going to happen in this book is somebody is going to make a wish. Let's see what it is. It was right in the middle of snack that I remembered I'd left my jump rope at the park. Where are you going, Lukey asked. I have to go, I told him. You can come too. Yeah, she better go and get her jump rope back. But there wasn't anything hanging from the tree branch where I'd left it. Where could it be? A big wind blew. What's that? Lukey asked. From somewhere nearby, we could hear other kids laughing. That sounds like Thomas and Samantha, I told him. Let's go. Hmm. What do you think happened to her jump rope? Do you think other kids took it and are using it? Come on, Lukey, I said. It's coming from over there. 
The laughs were louder now, and I could hear it. The swish whip of the jump rope. Ooh, someone's using the jump rope. But, but it wasn't Thomas and Samantha jump roping. It was foxes. Doxy, foxy, touch the ground. Doxy, foxy, turn around. Turn to the east and turn to the west and choose the one that you like best. Ooh, they're doing a jump rope rhyme. Have you ever seen a fox jump rope? Not just one fox. Look at how many foxes are jump roping. So many. The foxes were not very good at jump rope. They were good jumpers, but their tails kept getting caught in the rope. It didn't seem polite to laugh at them, even though they looked so funny, but Lukey couldn't help it. Are you good at jump rope? It's something that is a little bit hard to learn the right rhythm so that you don't get caught in the rope. But it's something you can, you can practice and get better. Let's see if the foxes do. At that, the foxes dropped the rope. What was that? asked the smallest one. It didn't seem polite to spy on them either, so he tiptoed out from the tree's shadow. Hi, I said. Oh, thank heaven, said a fox. By any chance, might you be able to teach us how to jump rope without tripping? What a silly bunch. Well, just keep your tail straight up your back, I told them, like this. Of course, their jump roping skills improved immediately. You're doing it, I said. What fun, said the fox. Hooray, said Lukey. Oh, they are doing a great job. No matter how much I practice, I still found it hard to jump with a lot of different people in the jump rope. It's pretty cool, though. When it was my turn, I double-checked. Just as I'd guessed, it was my missing jump rope. My name was right on the handle where I'd painted it. There's her name right there. Roxy. Hmm. I wonder what she should do. Soon the sky was peachy and we couldn't see enough to jump. It's time to go home, Lukey told me. But as I crouched to pick up my rope, the smallest fox bounded over. This is mine, she told us. On our way here, remember, Moxie? You heard me. I said, I just wish we had a game to play. Moxie nodded. And then when we came to this nice clearing a ways back, well, this rope was just hanging there from a branch with my name and everything. Just a little wish come true. Have you ever heard of a luckier day? I should wish for a thousand wishes. Oh, my goodness. Do you think that the little girl and the fox have the same name? Your name is Roxy, I asked. But Lukey said, that's my sister's name. I shushed him. It's okay, Lukey. Roxy, you are the best jump roper I've ever seen. Do you want to maybe play together again someday? I'll wish for it. Roxy told us and she darted away, the jump rope in her teeth. Lukey and I were quiet all the way back through the park. The light was golden and the air was warm. And in our footsteps, I kept hearing the rhythm of the jump rope rhyme. Can we do that again, Rox? Lukey asked me. The happy face of Roxy the fox popped into my head. Sure, Lukey, I told him. I like watching wishes come true. Then I wished to race him home and he wished to win. That's the end. One thing I really like about that book is that the fox and the little girl have the same name. Have you ever met anybody who has the same name as you? I have met other people who are named Meredith, and it was pretty exciting. One time, I in a school class, I had two other people named Meredith in the class with me. Have you ever met anybody else named Foxy, Mr. Wolf? Oh, yes, I have. It was a fox. Oh, have you ever met another wolf named Foxy? Oh, no, it's not a wolf name usually. That's pretty interesting. How did you end up with that name? My mom just liked it. Yeah, that's a good reason. All right. That was a pretty great book, though, wasn't it? Why don't we now sing a song? I was thinking maybe that we could sing some nice summertime songs today since it is nice and summery outside and school's almost out. So it's almost summer vacation. Hmm. So one of my favorite things to do in the summer is to go to the beach. So I thought we could sing the song about the baby shark. All right. Can you get a baby shark like this? Yeah, we're going to start with a little one. I've never actually seen a shark at the beach, and that's probably for the best. But here we go. Baby shark, do, 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 do. Baby shark, do, 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 do. Baby shark, do, 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 do. Baby shark. All right, let's get a mama shark. There we go. Mama 
my shark do 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 mama shark do 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 mama shark do 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 mama shark are we gonna get a daddy shark he's bigger so I'm gonna scooch back a little bit daddy shark do 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 daddy shark do 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 daddy shark do 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 daddy shark all right hmm, we're gonna have maybe a grandpa shark and he doesn't have very many teeth because he's a grandpa shark. So he's going to go like this. Wah, wah, wah. Grandpa shark. Do, 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 do. Grandpa shark. Do, 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 do. Grandpa shark. Do, 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 do. Grandpa shark. All right. Here we go. We have a swimmer dude. Here comes the swimmer. Can you swim? Swimmer. Do, 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 do. Swimmer. Do, 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 do. Swimmer. Do, 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 do. Swimmer. Do. Oh my goodness. Here comes a hungry shark. Can you rub your tummy like a hungry shark? And that shark fin on your head. Hungry shark. Do, 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 do. Hungry shark. Do, 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 do. Hungry shark. Do, 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 do. Hungry shark. What should the swimmer do? He's gonna swim away and he's gonna swim away super fast. Are you ready? Swim away, do 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 swim away, do 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 swim away, do 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 swim away. Oh, he made it. Safe at last, do 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 safe at last, do 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 safe at last, do 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 safe at last. All right, say bye to the shark. Bye bye sharks do 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 bye bye sharks do 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 bye bye sharks do 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 bye bye sharks. Sharks are pretty cool, but you want to be careful of them for sure because they've got lots of teeth. All right. Hmm. What are some other cool summertime songs that we might sing? I to get a little bit of a drink of water. All right. How about we sing a song about the sunshine? All right, can you make the sun shine all around? We're gonna make the sun shine on our house and on ourselves and on the ground. Are you ready? You might remember the song. We've sung it before with the rain and the snow, but this time we're gonna make it be a sun, sunny song. Sun is shining all around on the rooftops on the ground. Sun is shining on my nose, on my head and hands and toes. We'll sing it one more time now that we've sung the whole thing. Sun is shining all around, on the rooftops, on the ground. Sun is shining on my nose, on my head and hands and toes. That's one of my favorite songs because you can change it depending on the weather. You can change it to snow is falling or rain or leaves in the autumn time. But in the summer, I like to do it. Sunshine is shining all over. It's just making it a little bit hot, but that's okay. All right. Hmm. I think maybe we can sing a song about going into the forest to see some animals. How about we go into the forest first and see a wolf? Does that sound good? Oh, yeah, that's exactly what the wolf is going to say. Can you make a nice rhythm like this on your lap or on a table where you're sitting? Very good. We went to visit the forest one day. We saw a wolf along the way. And what do you think I heard him say? He said, oh, 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 very good. Hmm. What other animals might we see in the forest? Ooh, if you look down at the ground, you might see a frog in the forest. What does a frog say? Sounds like ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, and it hops like this. Very good. I went to visit the forest one day. I saw a frog along the way. And what do you think I heard it say? It said, ribbit, 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 ribbit. Very good. What other animal might live in the forest? How about an owl? Ooh, an owl. You would not see an owl in the daytime in the forest, but at night you might hear one and it sounds like, hoo, hoo. I went to visit the forest one day. I saw an owl along the way. And what do you think I heard it say? It said, hoo, 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 hoo. You know, we looked up what a fox said, didn't we? So we could maybe do a fox in this song. And you know what? 
it sounded sort of like a cat and sort of like a baby. And I was like, I don't know if I can make that sound. It's pretty interesting, though. Something that you might want to have your mom or your dad or a grown up help you look up what a fox sounds like when it make when it makes noises. Hmm. Do any other animals live in the forest? Lots of animals live in the forest. That's true. A lot of animals do live in the forest. Hmm. Maybe not around here, but in some places in the forest, you might see a bear. Ooh, cool. What does a bear say? It says, grrr. I went to visit the forest one day. I saw a bear along the way. And what do you think I heard it say? It said, grrr, 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 grrr. Another animal that's very cool, but you should be careful of because they've got sharp teeth and sharp claws. Okay. Hmm. I think that will be enough animals from the forest because I don't know if I can think of any more animal sounds. But I bet that you can think of more animal sounds, maybe not in the forest, but maybe at a farm or at the ocean or just in your backyard. You might hear birds or squirrels. All right. Hmm. Let's maybe sing one more song before we have to say goodbye. Let's sing a song about a bird flying up in the sky because this is a good time of year for birds. Here we go. Way up in the sky, the little birds fly. Do you know where a bird sleeps? Sleeps in a nest. While down in the nest, the little birds rest. Oh no, Foxy's falling off the desk. I saved him. With a wing on the left and a wing on the right, we'll let the dear birdie sleep all through the night. Shh, they're sleeping. But then what happens in the morning? The sun comes up. The bright sun comes up. The dew falls away. That's a tricky word. Do you know what dew is? When you go outside in the morning and the ground is really wet, even though it didn't rain, that's dew. Good morning. Good morning. The little birds say, tweet, 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 tweet. All right. Now that we've done the whole song, let's put it all together. You ready? Way up in the sky, the little birds fly, while down in their nest, the little birds rest. With a wing on the left and a wing on the right, we'll let the dear birdie sleep all through the night. Shh, they're sleeping. The bright sun comes up, the dew falls away. Good morning, good morning, the little birds say, tweet, 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 tweet. Very good job. Oh, it is about time for us to go. But before we do, we just wanted to remind you. What did we want to remind them of? To sign up for Summer Break Baltimore. Yeah, that's true. If you sign up in June, you can get a free shirt while supplies last and a free book. And then a free book and something else every month this summer. It's pretty cool. And we would love to help you get some awesome books to keep at your house. Because reading is our favorite. Yeah. You should read. Yeah, you should. All right. And the other announcement we have is next Saturday, the 25th, I think, or not next Saturday, Saturday, the 25th, and it is a Todd Parr is going to come to the library. It's so cool. You should look up more information about it on our website. Todd Parr writes some of my favorite books. So hopefully you'll be able to see him and learn about some of his books. It's pretty awesome. All right. That means it is time for us to sing the goodbye song, which is always a little bit sad. Yeah. But we will see you again next week. All right. Can you, if you're sitting on the floor, can you hit the floor or you can hit your lap? I'm going to hit the desk I'm sitting at in a nice rhythm. We hit the floor together. We hit the floor together. We hit the floor together because it's fun to do. Can you clap your hands? Oh, I'm having a hard time clapping my hands, but I'll help Mr. Wolf clap his hands. We clap our hands together. We clap our hands together. We clap our hands together because it's fun to do. Thank you. Can you stomp your feet? We stomp our feet together, we stomp our feet together, we stomp our feet together because it's fun to do. Can you sway from side to side like this? We sway from side to side, we sway from side to side, we sway from side to side because it's fun to do. Can you wave goodbye? We all wave goodbye, we all wave goodbye, we all wave goodbye because it's fun to do. Thank you for coming today, everyone. We hope that we will see you in person at the library soon for story times there and to sign up for Summer Break Baltimore. Bye.